Hey guys, it is yours truly, Ro, 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 with your Tuesday midday inspiration. As y'all can see, I kind of changed the scenery. I decided to just, you know, sit at the table, sip on some coffee. Check it out, got my Oak Gardens cup. And uh, share my midday inspiration. Today's midday inspiration is going to be a lot different from the others, but hey, I hope that you guys are encouraged, you are inspired, and you are edified. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. Also, guess what? I got a TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. So if you are a TikTok subscriber, you can follow me by putting in our Oh, wait, R O underscore S underscore world. Yeah, yeah, R O underscore S underscore world. Now, on TikTok, I tend to drop a lot more um, content on um, a regular basis. So, if you need more of Rome, then go on over to Rose World. Okay, so we're going to dive right in. But first, I'm going to say a quick word of prayer. Most holy and righteous Father, God, I come just to say thank you so much, God. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, God, for the beauty of today. God, I thank you for the blood that you have allowed to run through my veins. I thank you for breath. You know, it is the small things that we tend to take for granted. So, God, we thank you for even the small things. Father God, right now, I ask right now that you just touch the individual's heart that is watching this. You know exactly what it is that they stand in need of God so we just thank you for being a being the God of I am we know that there's nothing too big there's nothing too hard for you to do so father God we trust you we thank you and we give you all of the honor and the glory and the praise in the name of Jesus we pray amen amen so if you guys um, noticed last week I did not upload a video because I was in Kansas at my mother's house and um yeah, so I didn't have any internet, so it really was like out of my control. So allow me to apologize for not um, sharing a midday inspiration with you last week. I really do apologize. So let's move forward. Okay, so as I was traveling to Kansas last week, um, the closer I got to Kansas, closer to my arrival the more excited I got because you know quite honestly I miss my family and so anytime I'm able to go home and see my family it is just exciting it is exciting um, but anybody who knows me knows that I am a granny's girl so my very second stop because I had to stop to feed my belly so my second stop was to my grandmother's house and so the closer that I got to my grannies the more excited the more excited I was um, and so it's about to get a little interesting y'all it's getting a little interesting just 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 bear with me bear with me so as I was getting closer to my grandmother's house like I said the more excited I got um, I turned left on the street before you arrived to my granny's and then I made another left and uh, I saw my granny's house and I was like oh I get to see my grandpa I get to see my grandpa I can't wait and then my whole mood went from here to here because the first person I saw at my grandma's house was not my grandmother it was actually the person that I had had a very uh, a bad conversation with about a year prior to. He and I, we shared words and um, it was a conversation. So I was wrong. I was wrong. See, I can hold myself accountable. When I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong, right? Um, but our last conversation was, you know, us cussing each other out, him threatening my life and calling me bees and yeah so that's why my mood went completely down and uh, if in that particular moment I can be honest and saying I wasn't thinking about Jesus I wasn't thinking about nothing that had been taught I wasn't thinking about nothing in this I was I was listen listen 
this was not on my mind when I saw him. In fact, a lot of anger rose in me. And um, when he saw that it was me, um, instead of staying outside, he, he ran in, because he remembered the conversation. He ran in, he went upstairs to his daddy's room, and he, he hid. And so, I went in my grandma's house, and um, I said about five minutes, you know, into my, my meeting time with my granny, um, I was eating my food, and we were talking, and I was like, Grandma, God really does have a sense of humor. I said, you know, the first person I saw when I pulled up to your house was not you. It was the person who had cussed me out the last time we uh, had a conversation. And she was like, huh? Because she was a little oblivious to the whole situation. I, I don't even think she remembered that it happened. Um, so she didn't, you know, she didn't know. But I knew how I was feeling in that moment. And I wasn't feeling Jesus. I'm just going to be honest. Now, some folk, you know, they can go around and act like they holy 24-7. You know, I have my moments. But while I was sitting with my grandmother, the Holy Spirit, that's the one thing about the Holy Spirit. When you really want to be saved, honey, when you really want to be saved and walk right, the Holy Spirit will convict. And that is what the Holy Spirit did. And so I'm going to just pause from the story to share this scripture. So for the month of February, we have been discussing the subject of love. And our thesis has been, there is never a wrong time to love. Now, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know that I was going to have to put this love into action when I went home. But here we go. Let me share the scripture that we've been going over at church. 1 Corinthians 13 and 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove the mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It's not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemingly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things. Believeth all things hopeth all things, endureth all things. Ch charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Now this is the particular verse that really got me out. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, well man, I put away childish Thing. Okay. So, while I was sitting at Granny's, the Holy Spirit just began to convict me. And he was like, now, now, peep this, girl. You're the one that's in church every Sunday. You're the one that is constantly reading your word. You are the one that talks to me on a regular basis. You are the one leading the praise team. Now, either you're going to be true to this. Are you going to be true to this? And so I sat there and I was midway through eating my food. And I said, you know what, Lord? Now, the one thing I have been intentional about this year, or the last two years, is growing in the faith. I have been intentional about 
being the best version of myself, not for me, but for him, for God to be glorified. And so in that moment, I stopped eating my food. Yeah, it was good too. But I had to stop eating my food and I had to go and address that issue. Cause see, I'm growing. I, I mean, I'm not, I, I don't know what his personal, you know, what his personal relationship is like with Christ. But I know that I am not the person that I used to be. And I've been intentional about not being that person. And so I put that food down. I said, okay, let me go up here and let me love my cousin. Let me love on my cousin. So I walked up the stairs. Cuz was in his uncle's in my uncle's room. Like I said, he was hot. He got up, came out, and I just embraced him. We just gave each other a big hug. And I said, you know what, cousin? I love you. And in that moment, I was really reminded of what the love of Christ is. You see, it's easy to love and it's easy to say you forgive a person when that person is out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. I'm sure you guys have heard of that. Out of sight, out of mind. It's a totally different thing when that person is in front of you. Now, I can be honest in saying, I did not expect to pull up to my grandma's house and see that individual. I didn't expect for that to even happen, but I can be honest in saying, I am so grateful I'm grateful that I was actually able. I was actually able to operate in the fruit of the Spirit. I was glad that I was able to truly, truly love on my cousin. Now this this particular uh, you know, inspiration, like I said, is it's a lot different. It's a lot different from any of the others. Um, and this was actually like a twofold message, but I specifically wanted to address um, love and being true to this, being true to uh, my walk, in, you know, with Christ, being true to my relationship with Christ, and being real about loving people the way that God loves people and seeing people the way that God sees people. And so I can just be honest in saying the whole trip, the whole trip was a trip of reconciliation. It was a trip where I was able to sit and enjoy uh, family members that I was a little upset with earlier this year. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now I got to be transparent. I'm not going to lie to you. I was upset with some of the folks that I was spending time with. But I was able to spend time with them and and like truly not have no ill feelings, no all. I was really able to walk in the love of God. And so that is what I had to share with y'all. I was so excited about it because like I said, it's just, it's just, you know, it's it's just amazing when you actually can see, um, you can see the growth. Now, I'll be honest and say, like I shared, in that moment, I wasn't thinking about Jesus. I was upset. But the Holy Spirit, like I said, the Holy Spirit will convict. And so, I hope you guys were encouraged. I hope you guys were inspired. I hope that if there is a, a relationship that you need to um, address, um, that you do that. If you have wronged someone or if someone has wronged you, um, just show them the love of God. Like that is the best thing that we can do. I mean, because the world is chaotic and what the world really needs is love. So let's pray. Most holy and righteous Father, we say thank you, God. We thank you yet again for um, this time. Father God, I thank you so much for um, the individual that is watching this. And I pray right now that um, 
you give them the courage to even face some of those difficult um, relationships that they've had, oh God. Father God, I am just so grateful um, for this, this life that you have given me. I thank you um, just simply, God, for being you. God, we love you. We adore you. We rever you. We acknowledge that there is not one that is worthy of your praise. So, Father God, we thank you. We give you all of the honor. We give you all of the glory. And we give you all of the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's message was a little long, but hey, I had to get it out. And so I hope you guys, um, I hope you were touched by it. Yeah, feel free to share this. And again, like I said, reach out to reach out to your loved ones. Reach out to those folks that you may have had a you know, you know, fall out with. Just just call them and say, hey, I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. And um, be true to this. Now, if you don't know Jesus, and if you would like to know Jesus, it's real simple. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you can be saved. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever, that's you, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So if you would like to receive Christ today, just simply, simply ask him in. Just say, Lord, come into my heart. I want to be saved. Forgive me. Forgive me. I thank you, God, for accepting me into your family. It's really that simple. So, get connected with the church in your area, if you're not. Um, yeah, so, I love you guys. Mean it. And until next week. Same time, same place. Love you, mean it.